everyone, this is Nikki from This Robin's Nest. Happy January to you all. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of Valentine's Day goodies that I picked up in preparation for the upcoming holiday, as well as some organizational items. So first I'm going to do the organizational items, and the first one is a planner that I picked up at Target. It's by Sugar Paper Los Angeles. It was around $9.99, and I really liked the colors. And it's got some fun polka dots here, um, daily pages, and then some monthly pages. So I normally use a Filofax, and this year I'm still going to use my Filofax. I have to order new pages, though. Uh, this is going to be a project planner for me. I also picked up a planner from JCPenney's. I don't shop a whole lot at JCPenney's, but since they've re, I don't know if you want to call it rebranding or uh, remodeled their stores and brought in some new lines, I have found myself um, going in there once in a while and I found this leather bound planner and it's regularly $50. It was on clearance for about 10. It's a Swedish design and I'm going to attempt to um, say the company's name, but this is a perfect size for my purse and just writing down what I need to accomplish while I'm out that day, something that I can have on the go. The next organizational items I picked up are from Target and they are envelope uh, file systems and you just open up the tab there and they have 12 or 13 um, slots and they come with labels. I'm going to label this one January through December. I'm going to start using the envelope system this year to um, budget and so I think it's uh, not this ordinary wife or this not so ordinary wife has a um, YouTube channel. I'll, I'll put the name of her YouTube channel down below in the bar but um, I saw that she used this for her envelope system and so I'm going to give it a try and I have all different kinds of things allocated and by month. So when we go to the pumpkin patch or when we go to our local fair or things of that nature, we already have the cash on hand to spend. I then picked up this little pink and white chevron envelope folder and I'm using this for coupons and this is going to be for Bath and Body Works and department store type of coupons. I picked up this gray and white chevron. All of these were a dollar. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for, but I will find something to do with it. And finally, I picked up this teal color aqua, uh, whatever color this seems to be to you on the color wheel. And this was two dollars, it's a little bit larger. I, I have a binder for warranties, but it's kind of overflowing, so I thought I could put some of the overflow into this. Okay, so on to Valentine's goodies. I picked up these tights for my daughter at Target on clearance for $3.50. They're really cute. They're like heather gray. They have a pink heart on them, obviously, as you can see. But what I love about these is that the heart lines up on the knee. So I think those will be adorable for Valentine's. Second item I picked her up is this shirt from The Gap, um, Gap Kids, Baby Gap. It was on clearance for $5. So this was a really good score. And obviously she doesn't have to wear this for Valentine's Day. She could wear this a lot. And then I picked her up this sweater at Target. It has kind of like this crochet um, lace overlay and little buttons at the top. And I bought this in a larger size than she needs now. So this will be good for this coming fall 2014 or the winter. And this um, banner that you see hanging behind you, I got at Target in the dollar section. It's felt, red hearts, and it has some pink scroll overlay, and that was a dollar, so I thought that was a great deal. And I also picked up this banner out of the dollar section. 
And this is going to go in my daughter's room above her. She has a little pink retro play kitchen set. And I'm probably going to hang that above in her room. I also have some pink, pink heart lights that I bought from Target last year. They were $3. Um, but the strands don't go very far and they start like right after the area where you plug them in so if your plug in's on the ground and where you want to hang them is a bit higher it's really really awkward so I have to figure out somewhere to incorporate those and then lastly for garland well, this is going to be difficult for you to see I don't know if that will focus but it's kind of like candy hearts and this was $5.99 so it was more expensive than the ones in the dollar spot obviously but it's really adorable and I always hang a garland across some picture frames I have on a wall in my living room and so I got this for that location but when I opened it up one of the hearts was missing so I have to take it back and hopefully um, be able to find another one okay and then Miss Stone Home had a couple of these goodies in her video if you don't watch her you should definitely check out her channel but these are just little gift tags and they have hearts on them for Valentine's Day. I also picked up some Baker's Twine in red and white. I have three different washi tapes here. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on them well enough for you to see the detail. But this one is pink with white hearts. Uh, red and white chevron and a black and white chevron. Finally, from the dollar section, I have these chalkboard tags, which are really cute, and they have red and white baker's twine. You could easily switch out the twine and use these for anything, um, change the colors. And then finally, I have this candle burning right here, which is almost gone, and it sits on this little pedestal which kind of resembles a cake plate and I picked those up from Hardy Light and I'm just going to show you it's from the Just Desserts line and so it comes in this box and they're layered candles so they have different colors and this one is in vanilla shortbread and this one is in apple strudel so those are um some fun candles that I like to share. And finally, I found this little goodie at an antique shop, which is basically somebody repurposed this item. It's a little old champagne glass, or I'm not sure what what this was used for, but it says Le Nest. And since my channel is called This Robin's Nest, I thought it would just be really cute to pick up and use in my background this spring or around Easter or all year round in my house. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.